What's up guys? Um before the video starts, I just want you guys to know about my giveaway when I reach 500 subscribers. You tell 500 subscribers equals a giveaway. And the giveaway will be this bait caster right here. It's really good. Um please subscribe and you could be one of the winners and hopefully you guys can win this awesome reel and good luck. Thank you. Good morning or good evening, wherever you guys come from or watching right now. Um, today, I'm going to attempt to make my own fishing pole. Now, I saw this on another channel, and Lunkers TV was the channel I saw it on. He was just fishing with it, but this video, I'm going to be making it. So, I don't know how I'm going to make it or how I'm going to do it. But I'm going to just see if I can, see if it comes out good. So, we'll do it. As I said, guys, this is not going to be easy. This is going to be super hard, but I think I can do it. I think, I think, I don't know. I just have a feeling that I can do it. And I'm just going to show you guys um, the tools that you need in order to make one of these. So what you need is some of these tools. You gotta have duct tape. Always duct tape. And you gotta have some washers, like so. And you gotta have a drill and a hammer in case you need to nail anything in. And then you need some screws, some bolts, some washers. In case you need to like connect the eye holes or anything like that. And and I'll show you that also. So right now, right now I'm going to show you what like supplies you need. Okay. So of course you're going to need like some sort of wooden dowel, and then you're going to need you're going to need these for like the eye holes, and they are called what are they called? They're they're called screw eyes. So if you guys want to make a fishing pole someday you can get some screw eyes and a wooden dowel and some PVC pipe sorry about that and that's simply what you guys are going to need and of course for the reel just get old reel I don't know you guys a lot of fishermen have old spinning setups bait caster setups just take an old reel and after you're done making the rod just connect your reel on it and you're good Alright, sorry guys if I look sweaty, but uh, I just finished up on my rod, and I gotta say, it looks pretty good. Um, I didn't think I was going to get this far, and I did find an old spinning reel, and I did attach it to it, and I'm going to show you guys in a little bit. Alright, the countdown. Ready? Three, two, one. Pow. This is it, guys. See, I can... There's the screw eyes with the little washer, then the washer, and then a little bolt, another one, and another one. So I got like three eye holes on this, and then of course, got the reel on it. It's a really old reel. Of course, I got the tape in order to make the PF PVC under it in order to look good. So it looks like a fishing grip. Of course. Works like butter. And 
I'm probably gonna do a fishing video where I do use it and probably catch some bluegill, hopefully a bass, but that's gonna be really hard because of course there's like no mobility in this dowel since it's so stiff. So I'm probably gonna catch some bluegill with it in some video. Comment down down below if you wanna see that. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. Hopefully you can make your own. See ya.